What's good YouTube, whenever, wherever you're watching this video, I appreciate you for spending your time right here, right now. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to T.I.'s son basically going in. You know, he had a problem with T.I. and he decided to take it to the internet. He had a problem with both T.I. and Tiny, his parents, and decided to take it to the internet. So let's just check this out. <laughs> Fighting your daddy because you want to be from the hood is the hugest L. So basically, he, he okay, I know what's going on here. He don't want to claim the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to claim the burbs. <laughs> Oh, he ain't trying to claim the burbs, bro. And I think a lot of kids that are like this in the suburbs, like, a lot of times when they present a man, they show him, especially in the black community, when they show hyper-masculine men, they're usually gangsters and thugs and niggas from the hood. So, I think a lot of kids in the suburbs, when they grow up, they tend to feel like they're not a man or something because they didn't come from the hood, which is completely stupid. But let's keep checking this out. Bando, I'm I'm posing this too much, but Bando, how are you, Ti's son, talking about the Bando, bro? Like, what's he talking about right now, bro? He said he know not true. Silver spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. I had a silver spoon. Since you used to have to come to my grandma's house, cause I'm getting in the fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. You used to hold your breath. Every day. I mean, I get what they're doing, but they probably should have taken the phone and got off the Instagram live. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't. They shouldn't be egging this on. But hey. But why does this nigga look like he's happy 24-7? Nigga look like he can't stop smiling, bro. Like, damn. <laughs> he know that. Yo. Ain't nothing to ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You drop me in your hood, I stand on business. Yeah. I've been stood on business. This nigga look like one of them IG models who get lip injection and that shit goes wrong, bro. I can't lie. I'm not even trying to get on his head, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not trying to get on your head, my fella. I'm not trying to get on your head, bro. I've been still on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was. You was behind the TV. No. I ain't got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Has he got that Playboy Cardi shit on his neck, bro? Ain't no nigga with that shit untied on their neck is, is gangster, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not trying to get on your head, but ain't nobody with that. Now, don't get me wrong. I get where he's coming from with his frustration. Like, for him to take it to IG Live, he must have been going through this with his parents, but it's just not the best thing to bring on the internet. Let's be real. Bro, Nick said he's standing on business, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
I can't lie, that's crazy. I hope they resolve this. It's not the best thing to be putting this on the internet, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. Whenever, wherever you did watch this video, take care of yourselves, and I'm out.